I know I said I didn't want to be that longitude guy anymore, but I'm gonna be real with you. I need content. I'm trying to upload more consistently. And some of you guys have actually texted me on Instagram and left comments on my YouTube videos asking me to make a longitude 2024 lineup video. So even though the chances are low for me going, I'm still gonna react anyway. Even though the lineup's a bit old right now, but fuck it. <laughs> so the first one we have here is Kenya Grace. I do not know who Kenya Grace is. I'm not gonna lie. No disrespect. Let me look her up. I don't recognize her. She's from South Africa. Oh, moving like Tyler, is it? Let me check Spotify. Oh, I know this song. It came out in September 2023 and it already has like half a billion streams. That's crazy. So fair play to Grace. So the next one we have is Jazzy. Step by step when you're moving in. When it goes to the club, you're tuning in. Jazzy has absolutely blown up. Belters only are obviously on this list, right? Very associated with Jazzy. I swear in one of my longer two lineup reactions, I said that Jazzy deserves more credit because Jazzy, she's the voice of Belters only. You know what I mean? Like when you think of make me feel good, don't stop just yet. She's singing all the those songs and then she went and dropped giving me energy is also fire as well five million monthly listeners i think she actually has more monthly listeners than belters only now it's good to see belters only doing well it's good to see jazzy doing well and sonny federer wow what a coincidence because three of these people have actually made a song together they have that song life lessons you see, I didn't really know who Sonny Fredra was. Every time he comes to Ireland, yeah, it's a shutdown. Everybody's on Snapchat, Instagram asking for Sonny Fredra tickets. Oh, yeah, bro. Who's going Sonny? Oh, bro. Who has tickets for Sonny? Like, there was a lot of hype on him, but I personally didn't know about him. But then, when he dropped this song with MK asking, bro, this song is nuts. Probably one of my favorite EDM songs in a long time. That's the only song I need to know of Sunny to know that he is sick. And obviously MK's been killing it. So next up, we have Joel Corey. His song Sorry is a banger. That's how I first found out about Joel Corey. And he's made a couple bangers ever since. And it's good to know that he's not a one-hit wonder. Because he has 13 million monthly listeners. That's all I need to play. Because you've heard that song a million times. Yep, that's all you need to hear about that song as well. You see, that's my point. His songs have been on the radio a lot. So, like, I'm very familiar with Joel. And, yeah, big up Joel, to be honest. He does make bangers. Next up, D-Block Europe. Okay, this is going to be very controversial, right? A couple of you, man, women, may look at me differently when I say this. I don't really see the DBE hype. DBE are huge, especially in London, bro, where every show they done in the UK or whatever was sold out. They just got their first ever official charts, number one, with their new album, Rolling Stone. Like, I'm not taking anything away from them. 22 million monthly listeners i think that dbe is just young ads i'm sorry i don't really know what dirt bike lb provides for dbe this is probably gonna sound crazy i may get slagged over this but i feel like when i think of d block europe i just think of young ads like i don't mean to disrespect i'm sorry and my girlfriend wants to see them as well i just personally don't really care i think they're okay next up we have blk bro i'll be so real i'm pretty sure i've talked about him before because he's been on one of the older lists like the list is getting recycled like d block i'm pretty sure have been to longer two before pretty sure blk has been to Longitude before. Pretty sure Belt is only I've been to Longitude before. I went to go see Central C last time I was at Longitude. I think Doja Cat was supposed to perform. I don't know if she did. So I guess she's coming back here. Like, you see my point. The list is looking a bit recycled at the moment. BLK, all I know, bro, for is Enter the Dragon. I do not know another BLK song, bro. Actually, never mind. I've heard this song before. <laughs> And actually has more streams than Enter the Dragon. So I'm sorry for the disrespect, BLK. And he's Irish as well, which I discovered in my last lineup video. So fair play. Belters only. You see, it's crazy because I was following Bissett as an individual artist because Bissett makes really good solo songs. I remember when he posted about Belters only. This is a project I'm working on. I watched the scenes. And like, obviously when someone says something like that, you're like, wish you the best of luck, but just, you know, whatever. And then Belters only has now became this huge global thing. That song has gone platinum, not once, not twice, but 10 times it's a diamond song if you don't know what platinum is platinum means when your song gets fifteen thousand units sold platinum normally refers to 1 million units sold but just that's in america so going platinum 10 times in ireland to reach diamond is still impressive like that's a really big achievement so next up we have the headliners wow we're gonna start off with saturday we have central c well, i've already seen him before because he's already been on the list before we need new acts i'm a huge central c fan don't get me wrong like central c is actually 
actually one of my favorite artists. I don't say that lightly. Like, I genuinely have a lot of his songs saved. Here's the thought I had while editing. Tendril C has a very popular song called Doja, and it references Doja Cat. Doja Cat is performing at Longitude the next day. So I imagine Central C brings her out on Saturday when he's singing Doja. That would be insane. And then the next one's Becky Hill. She's been on the list before. If you don't think you're familiar with Becky Hill, you are. I went in there thinking I don't really know that many Becky Hill songs. 90% of the songs that played, I heard them before. You'll hear that song and you'll be like, oh, she sang that. And you'll hear that song and you'll be like, oh yeah, she sang that. It's a good time being at Becky Hill. So next up, Doja Cat. Doja Cat is huge now. She's changed up her image a lot. She's on that demon shit. She got to a stage where she just got so much money and fame. Her head just got twisted because she's doing the weirdest shit now. Like Pentatown Red. She went number one on the Billboard Hot 100. The Billboard Hot 100 list is a big deal in America. It's basically a leaderboard for the biggest song of that week. So pretty much every artist's goal is to be number one on the Billboard Hot 100 at least once. You probably have a favorite artist or a favorite rapper that has never touched number one on the Billboard ever. <laughs> like for reference, J. Cole, a huge artist, arguably one of the greatest rappers of all time, only hit number one on the Hot 100 when he dropped First Person Shooter with Drake. So that goes to show how hard it is to get a number one song on the Billboard Hot 100. But Doja Cat done that. That's kind of crazy. I don't know if I'd go see her. Like if my girlfriend wanted to go see her, maybe I would. She actually had a song with 21 Savage on his album, American Dream, NHIE, which stands for Never Have I Ever. And it's a really good song. And I thought Doja Cat had a good verse on that 21 Savage song. And Doja Cat and 21 Savage are on the same day. So imagine 21 Savage bought Doja Cat out for that song and she done her verse. That would also be cool. So I'm going to transition into the final person on this list. 21, 21. I actually really fuck with 21 Savage as well. He's one of my favorites. I've known about 21 Savage for time since No Heart, X with Future. And he's been huge ever since. And then obviously first time he linked up with Drake was on Sneaking and that was a banger. 21 Savage has been around for a minute. He's really solidified himself. Like Creeping with The Weeknd is on like a billion streams. I would only really go to Longitude for 21 Savage. I literally watched like a two hour interview that he done with Shannon Sharp. That was actually really good to get more insight on 21 Savage and his life. The stuff with Aiden Ross, bit crazy. Not gonna lie. Say dada. Da. Huh? Say dada. Da. <laughs> Say dada. Dada. <laughs> that situation with Aiden Ross definitely made me look at 21 Savage a bit differently. Apparently, 21 Savage sent him back to 250k once the situation got exposed, but it shouldn't have happened in the first place. I still fuck with his music though, gang. I ain't even gonna lie. But yeah, that's pretty much the list for now. If there's any comments I really had to make, this was the poster to advertise longer to. This was like, hey guys, we're back. Look at who we have. And most of them are just people that have already been to Longitude before. I'm not excited about this list like it doesn't get me like that's all i have to say i'll see you later <laughs>